previously on Not Vanilla. You got to meet who we are, why we're doing what we're doing, a little bit about what Not Vanilla means to us, and kind of what are we're passionate about. You also got to see us say goodbye to our youngest. We're officially empty nesters, and it all happened on camera. Yep. Then you were also there when we sold my truck, which didn't take long to sell. She was a good old truck. And then we got rid of my motorcycle. That was the next thing to go on the list. And then came the big ticket item. Our house. This was my dream house. I dreamt to have this perfect house for a very long time. And it served us right for as long as it did. But now we have other dreams. And it sold in a week. Crazy. And then we bought an RV. Well, we had to get that because it sold too fast. And it's in the middle of hurricane season. So why not? Here's Kokomo. We went ahead and decided to start renovating everything about it. Mm. How hard can it be, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's simple. I mean, you see it on HGTV all the time. They do it in 24 hours, right? Yeah. What could go wrong? It's what? Maybe 300 square feet? Except that it took us weeks. And every time we will work on something, something else will break. It was kind of a never-ending battle. I didn't like the paint, and it was too expensive to do it. So I figured out how to do it myself. And then it turned out so good that we said, we can do this. We can do it all. So we started doing other little projects to kind of make our little home or our little house a home. Yeah. And we were enjoying living here. And then you were also there when it broke down for the first time. We almost died. It happened right in the middle of the road while we were crossing. Almost died. Almost. Almost. But we didn't. We figured out what needed to be repaired. And we learned a few lessons that um, old stuff, when you try to fix it and replace it, eh, sometimes breaks. And sometimes they break even a little bit worse. Old parts. But with a little bit of determination, elbow grease, a whole lot of cursing, and some help from the internet, we are able to get everything back together. Once we got everything back together, we decided to go ahead and knock out a few other little repairs that we had to do. Uh, a little bit here, a little bit there. Had to take the thing to the shop, actually, for a few little things, you know. Um, professionally done for, like, the brakes and etc. But other than that, we were getting ready to rock and roll. And things were looking good. And after three long months, we finally did it. We started traveling. We started going to different RV parks, meeting new people, and starting to talk and do everything we wanted to do. So now, finally, we were able to start living the dream. <laughs> and now for something completely different. All right, so what a freaking year, right? I know, yeah. So let's get this done and let's move on. And um, we got a lot to show you this year. So let's get to it. Yeah, come on. I think I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, touch the butt. You're gonna touch the butt. It's gonna it's touch. We're so close. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm gonna go up there. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much I dream about this day. <laughs>
Thing. It was amazing. I got to go all the way to the top and it was freaking cold, but it was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, you got to see 360 degrees all over Paris and it was the most amazing sunset today. It was like I planned it that way. It was really, really nice. Yeah, you did a great job with that planning on that one. Yep, and as we're leaving, they just turned it on. So as you can see in the background, there it is, Eiffel Tower. Yeah. It's amazing, cold, and probably worth it. <laughs> Did I mention it was cold? Yeah, it is extremely cold. Yes. I'm not even playing and around. And windy. With this. Not even playing around. So cold, I can't even feel the the button from my finger here. I know. Look, look at that. <laughs> It was really cool. I can't wait. I can't wait for dinner and finish our day with a perfect dinner. I know. It's hard to believe that we actually woke up yesterday morning at about 6.30 our time. Took care of everything we needed to take care of. Then flew, then flew to New York. New York. Then flew here. Got here at 6.30 their time in the morning. <laughs> Stayed up, went to the hotel, found out we can't check in yet. They told me it was 24 hour check in. Yeah. Nah, they lied. <laughs> I couldn't check in until 2 o'clock. I'm not gonna waste the whole day. So we just took off, and before we knew it, it was time for my tickets to come here, and now it's time for a reservation. So by the time we get back to the hotel, it's probably gonna be about 10 p.m., and we're probably gonna be dead, fall in a coma. But hey, a really hot shower. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, that hot shower is gonna feel uh, amazing. Yes. I can't even describe. And tomorrow we get to go to the catacombs oh, and yeah. the Louvre. I don't know how much they'll let me tape in the Louvre, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah, true. You never yeah. can tell. Sometimes yeah. they sometimes they say no, sometimes they let you do so. It doesn't, I don't know, it's weird. Yes, it's actually a really good time of year to come here. It's not very crowded. It's cold, but if you come prepared, it's okay. Cold you know, it's, yeah. I mean, the major attractions, like when they pack you like sardines in that elevator, I'll, we'll show you a picture because we could only <laughs> take one picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, the ma of course, the major attractions when they're packing you in, they're busy. But walking around and everything, as you can see, there's a lot of people here, but it's not crowded. It's not like summer. That no. you can't even see anything. Yeah, not at all. So awesome. So yeah. we'll see you tomorrow and we'll try to tape some more. Yeah, we'll taste more. Send you guys some Au more revoir. stuff. Au revoir. <laughs> Life to do this to open 
windows in a French balcony. So I'm gonna do it. Freaking blah, cold. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. You have a heater out there.